Hi there! Welcome back to Molapi Channel, where you can learn more interesting information about your favorite actors and athletes. In today's video, let's take a look at the career and some interesting facts about actor Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren was born as Hans Lundgren in Stockholm, Sweden on November 3, 1957, and is an actor, filmmaker, martial artist. He rose to prominence in the 80s and 90s, becoming one of the world's most famous action stars. Lundgren emerged as a versatile actor who was able to play the role of hero or villain with equal ease. Today, Dolph Lundgren is one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. Dolph Lundgren was born to Carl Johan Hugo Lundgren, an engineer and economist for the Swedish government, and Sigurd Brigitta, a language teacher. He had two sisters, Katarina and Anika, and a younger brother, Johan. Lundgren has admitted that his father was verbally and physically abusive to him, and that this ill treatment inspired him to excel in martial arts. Despite an early interest in music and the fine arts, Dolph decided to follow in his father's footsteps and pursue an engineering degree. After having completed his military service, he enrolled at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. During this time, Lundgren spent much of his free time honing his karate skills, eventually achieving his second Dan Black Belt in 1978. Karate became a major focus for Lundgren in the late 70s and early 80s, winning the European Karate Championships in 1980 and 1981 before winning an Australian Karate Heavyweight Tournament in 1982. That year, he attended the University of Sydney and earned his master's degree in chemical engineering. Lundgren was awarded a Fulbright scholarship to MIT in 1983, moved to New York City, but soon quit studying to pursue acting. In 1994, he married Annette Weiberg, a jewelry designer and fashion stylist, but divorced in 2011. They have two daughters, Ida Sigrid Lundgren and Greta Evelyn Lundgren. Lundgren became engaged to a Norwegian woman, Emma Krokdal, in June 2020. Lundgren's film debut came in the 1985 James Bond film, A View to Kill. However, it was his performance in Rocky IV, 1985, later that year that definitely got him noticed. After a nine-month audition process among 5,000 hopefuls, he was cast opposite writer-director Sylvester Stallone as his Russian opponent, Ivan Drago. During the next decade and a half, Lundgren was involved in an astounding number of straight-to-video films. At times, he acted as a producer or a director. Lundgren returned to theaters in true form when he booked a role in 2010's The Expendables, alongside Sylvester Stallone and an all-action star cast. He reprised his role in The Expendables 2, The Expendables 3, and is due to reprise his role as Gunnar Jensen in The Expendables 4. He also reprised his role of Ivan Drago in Creed 2, 2018, and joined the DC Extended Universe, playing Nereus, the underwater king in Aquaman the same year. Here are Dolph Lundgren's 10 Best Action Movies. Rocky IV, 1985 Masters of the Universe, 1987 
The Punisher, 1989. Showdown in Little Tokyo, 1991. Universal Soldier, 1992. The Expendables, 2010. The Expendables 2, 2012. The Expendables 3, 2014. Aquaman, 2018. Creed 2, 2018. As of 2022, Lundgren's net worth is estimated at $18 million. In 2018, Dolph Lundgren purchased a modern home in Hollywood Hills for $3.9 million. In 5,230 square feet are four bedrooms and six bathrooms, including a sleek master suite with private balcony and a small but tasteful pool. In 2020, Lundgren decided to cash in on his real estate investment and he listed this Hollywood Hills mansion for $4.5 million. Lundgren speaks Swedish and English fluently, as well as smaller amounts of French, German, Italian, Japanese and Spanish, but is not fluent in five languages as has often been reported. Many websites will tell you the story of burglars breaking into his house and attacking his wife, then seeing his picture on the wall and fleeing in terror. But they often leave out the best part. When asked in 2013 if the story was true, Lundgren simply responded, something like that. They did steal a couple of things, but brought some back. Sylvester Stallone may have regretted taking on Lundgren when filming for Rocky IV. Started as during one of the tapings, Lundgren sent Stallone to the hospital Lundgren and Stallone decided to spar, and this ended with Stallone taking a punch from Lundgren that put Stallone in the hospital. Insurance companies thought he was hit by a car, not a person. Although Lundgren has never competed as a professional bodybuilder, he has been closely associated with bodybuilding and fitness since his role as Drago in the mid-1980s. In an interview with Bodybuilding.com, he claimed to often train up to six days a week, usually one-hour sessions, completed in the morning. Lundgren also spars and practices karate aside from weightlifting. Are you a fan of this amazing actor? Leave a comment to let us know and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to support our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the upcoming videos on the Amolipi channel.